if you just hold on long enough, you are going to be restored. And not only restored, but then God's going to give you double for what you lost. Do I have anybody trust and believe in God this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Come on, give a hand of praise. Glory to our God. Because that's the God we serve. God is not, his man is funnier than our man. God doesn't know how, amen, just to give you a little bit. Amen. The Bible says he pours you out a blessing that you wouldn't have room enough to receive. So God told me to tell you this morning, he received restoring faith in this lesson to whoever, whoever, amen, will receive it. Who is going to receive, amen, restoration of your faith this morning? Come on, if you receive them, lift your hands and you're going to receive restoration of your faith in every aspect of your life. Because see, y'all y'all playing with me today, but I know some of you listen, because I've been there. You can have faith in a certain thing, like I have faith to get up, I got faith to put on my clothes, I got faith to go into the house of God, but yet I don't trust you in this one thing. I have faith in my job, I thank you for the job, but if I lose the job, God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got faith, I got faith, God, in this marriage, in this relationship, but if they walk out the door, Lord, I'm going to blame you. Y'all can talk to me this morning. Glory be to God. All of us, amen, have time where our faith, amen, is challenged and shaken, and yet sometimes our commitment doesn't remain. So today is a strategy session. Yes, today is a strategy session, amen, on how, amen, uh, uh, we, us and God, are going to overcome whatever problems we are facing. See, this is a team thing. Glory to God. This is not, you're not in this alone, but God is right there with you in your problem. He's right there in the situation with you. He's right there carrying you through, and then your worst days and your lowest days, God is right there. You just got to recognize it's Him that's carrying you through. Come on, let's give Him glory again this morning. Come on, let's remind Him. For his presence, amen, for his ability, amen, to carry you through even when you can't see your way through. See, after living, God wants you to know this today, that after living through your chaos, after living through your chaos, you should not allow chaos to change your destiny. It should only change your perspective. Glory to God. Yes, I'm going to say that one more time. You've been going through chaos. You've gone through chaos. And all that stuff you went through as a child, you blame God for it. I need you to change your, your mindset because it doesn't change your destiny because God knew everything you were going to go through. It only can change, it only should change your perspective. I'm different now that I've gone through that thing. I, I know now what God does and in the midst of losing a spouse. I now know what God will do in the midst of losing a loved one. I know what God now will do. My, I, I, my destiny is still going up. I don't care what I'm lost, but now I understand how God works through pain because He never promised us that we wouldn't have any pain. I know, I, I know, y'all want to believe that uh, every Christian, every every preacher, and every man and woman of God has only had good days. But y'all know, Amen, that that is not true. That is not true. All of us have had days of struggle. Have days of wondering, God, where are you? God, do you hear me? God, do you see what I'm going through? Lord, when are you going to turn this situation around? And yet, amen, God is still ministering to our needs. Glory be to God. God is still coming and showing up at our door and says, I'm here. All I'm waiting on you is to trust me and to talk to me in the midst of what you're going through. Do I have anybody willing to talk to God in the midst of what they're going through? Glory be to God and realize, amen, that your chaos is not going to change your destiny. So our, our lesson reminds us of, of, of this truth, amen, that we've talked about already. And all of us will go through something that shakes, amen, our faith. Yeah. Every one of us are going to go through a faith-shaking season. Whether it's unanswered prayers, whether it's being told no, when we were expecting a yes, Delays in what was promised, and sometimes even promised from God. Or natural disasters like Hurricane Katrina. I don't know about you, but when I was watching Hurricane Katrina on the news, I was, as a man of God, I was looking at that, and I, early on, I said,